Hello, this is a um, test of my app, to sh a little walkthrough. It's 11.35 currently, so I'm kind of pushing it. Hopefully, I'll be able to um, get the video uploaded to YouTube before um, midnight. And now, of course, it decides to take forever. Okay, so here's the store. Um, I'm going to sign into the store owner. Oops, there's a comma. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, create a product to show that that bit's working. Let's see, let's name it. Um, what's one of the bad words? Body. Body is a bad word. And we're going to call it crash because I already have test on my pictures pull up. Description um, test 111 price 66. Category, let's make it a food. Um, test dummy, let's do this one. It's a big picture. Copy image address. Let's put it in here. Okay, so. That is down here, and you can see that it's just called crash instead of body crash. Right, um, what is another requirement of the app? Um, the price, this one I have in my, I have stuff for it in my um, function. It's actually this bit right here. I have something for it, but I don't have a um, function to update an, a product because that was only a requirement for, um, that was only a bonus requirement, so I don't actually have something to, to do that. That was a bonus requirement in homework too. Um, this, uh, it's hard to show how this is working. Here's my logs. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it is. I do have code for it. Um, up here, thumbnail stuff. I use image magic. Um, okay, what is next? Backend stuff. Let's go to my database and my rules. I know I'm just supposed to show that they're working, but here they are because this is not my rules. Here we go. This is what they should be. Why is it I've changed? Okay, well these are my rules. I need to make this my current. Okay, well, these are my rules. Um, I don't know if it's going to work in the app now because let's see what happens. If I go to the shopping cart, yeah, no, I don't see them. Okay, well, I don't have time to um, make a whole new video, um, and, but you see what's supposed to happen. I have, let me go back to my rules, I have the first part that says um, you can read products if, as long as you're logged in and then you can read, you can write products if you are, um, If you can you can write products if you are the store owner, which is this, which is my um, if you go to authentication and this one down here, that is that user ID. And then for orders, um, you can create and write if you're logged in, but you have to be the user ID to read it and delete it. Okay. That's everything.